Hey there, today we're going to see how to trigger the subscription prompt on your user's devices based on their location. We are going to do this by Google Tag Manager, but do remember that just with the help of Google Tag Manager, you cannot pull someone's location. So here we'll be using a geolocation API. Here we are using Geo Plugin. This is a free service, and if you have a HTTPS website, you will need to do a payment of $12 for a year. Now, first we need to create a geotag. What the geotag does is it requests data from GeoPlugin, and then GeoPlugin sends this data in forms of JavaScript codes. Now, you can get this code from here. You just need to copy the JavaScript code and paste it over here, and then trigger on all pages. Save it, go to your website, and then open the debug mode. Now, you can see the tag gets fired. Now, if you want to see the information passed by GeoPlugin, you can open your console, paste this JavaScript code, I can see India. And similarly, you can do the same for a city. Just copy paste this code over here. And now we'll create a listener tag just to collect the data. See, I've already created. Here, you need to paste the JavaScript code, this one, and then add all the functions you require. Right now, I've added all the functions. If you wish to add just one or two, like country name or city, you can do that. And then push it to the data layer and then trigger on all pages. Now, if we go to our debug mode and go to Geo, we can see that the data layer is populated by the country name, the code, the currency code, etc. Now, what we can do is we can create a variable with this. Go back to Google Tag Manager, variables. Go to new, select the color variable, and be sure to select the correct function name, the country name. Now, after we've saved this, we can go and create the Isuto script tag. I've already created one of it. All you need to do here is put the Isuto script and then create a new trigger with the variable we just made. Select custom events, select some events, select the variable we just made, and be sure to select does not contain India. Now we save it. Now, what this will do is this tag will get fired to your website visitors who visit your website from a country any other than India. And when someone visits from India, this tag will not get fired. Now, let's just see how this works. Go to your website, refresh. As you can see, the tag did not get fired since I'm currently in India. So this is basically how you can create an event which triggers on basis of your user's location. Hope this video helped. Thanks.